don't mind the bedding in the background. I'm actually washing everything right now. But the first thing I want to talk about with the cheaper things that are not worth your money is cheap clothing. Not all clothing items are made equal. So like Fashion Nova, Timu, Sheen, companies like that don't put a lot of work or thought into what their clothing items are made out of and right now you guys are probably thinking you're saving a lot of money with buying cheaper clothes and i know we live in weird times where everything is so expensive heck even some of the cheaper clothing items are expensive because we live in such weird inflation times what i have been learning when it comes to fabric i've been educating myself with fabric and learning that purchasing a bunch of cheaper clothing items you're not saving money you're wasting money because most of those items won't last over a year due to the poor fabric, um, holes, once when they get out the dryer or the wash, the color fading drastically after like three to four washes. And I do want to say that I'm not perfect. 80% of my wardrobe is from Amazon because I'm going through like a weight situation. So I'm just like kind of stuck in like comfy clothes and... I'm okay with that because I don't want to waste my money anymore on buying cheaper clothes to look cute online or to look, I don't know, like I have money. I used to go through that route back in the day and it just didn't work out for me. So now I'm focusing on one, losing the weight that I have gained and two, focusing on fabrics or companies that put a lot of thought into their clothing items, even though a shirt may cost 60 to 100 to maybe 200 dollars for one shirt some of those companies are very transparent on that the shirt will last you five to ten years from now compared to that top that you purchased from timu that was three dollars and 21 cents that you probably won't even get three months out of i know i get a lot of hate online with me looking like this and not wearing what other influencers are wearing or not looking like other influencers but i really don't care about all of this right now because my biggest focus is saving money to get a house and also i'm glad that i'm in this situation because i had the opportunity to learn that you're not saving money with buying cheaper clothes you're actually wasting money because you have to re constantly replace those cheaper clothing items within like six months to a year due to them not lasting so technically you're spending more than what you would spend on a more expensive top or pair of pants or even shoes also i do want to add in here that some cheaper clothing items do last over a year so it all depends on one what it's made out of two how you wash it, how you dry it, like how you take care of those items. I have had these sweatshirts, I wanna say like maybe three years now, so these are still going strong, um, but the leggings that I purchased from Amazon, they last up to a year because my thighs rub together and the fabric is cheap. But I know one day I'll be able to afford higher quality clothes in the future and not have to worry about constantly repurchasing or replacing clothes that have a rip in them also i have tried to bring some of my like leggings to the tailor and see if they can like sew them to fix them that way and they immediately say no because the fabric is so thin and cheap that the minute they put the needle in or try to sew it it's just gonna rip in other places so that goes to show on how cheap certain companies will go with their fabric with their choice of fabric so just be aware of the clothing items that you're bringing in the house, you don't need a closet filled with a bunch of clothing items. Don't fall for any of that stuff, you guys. Focus on what you truly need. Next one is press-on nails. And I mean, I don't think I need to say much about this. I don't think it's like a total waste of money. I totally get like if you have an event to go to and you want to look presentable and you want your nails to look clean and well done. But I used to use press-on nails back in the day and... They did not last. It also depends on what you do for work, what you're doing at home. Like, are you very hands-on? Are you doing the dishes? Are you cleaning? Um, those were my main jobs was cleaning and using my hands a lot. So press-on nails did not last. I would say they lasted 
maybe like six hours and that's it also they're really bad for the not only your budget but the environment it's another thing that ends up in the landfill so even though press on nails are cheaper than getting your nails done i think what's cheaper and better is having just clean nails you don't have to have them short like mine but just having clean presentable nails that's a lot cheaper than having these press on nails unless you have like a way to save money with the press on nails then go for it but like i said even though it's cheaper than getting your nails done i just i don't think it's worth it next one is dollar tree food items not only are the ingredients with the dollar tree food items very very questionable i'm not going to get into that because everyone you know everyone has their own diet i used to consume dollar tree food items for the longest time you can go back to my old videos um, but the main thing on why i wanted to mention this is not due to the you know questionable ingredients but it's due to the price so i haven't been to the dollar store since i moved here we don't have a dollar store around us it's not that popular in my area which is a good thing because it made me realize how much money i was wasting at the dollar store especially when it came to food items for an example I was purchasing a jar of um, peppers. It came like a little jar like, like this, tiny little jar. And back in the day it was a dollar. I know the Dollar Tree isn't a dollar anymore. And I thought like, this was it. Like I'm saving so much money. I'm gonna stock up on these peppers. I love these. It was like red and green peppers. So when I moved, obviously I don't have a dollar store around me. So I was trying to find those peppers. And what I found was 10 times cheaper and healthier and that is just buying fresh peppers so as of right now i'm purchasing these green it's like a lime green pepper they're my favorite purchase a big bag like this from stop and shop and and you can also purchase them from whole foods whole foods is a little bit more pricey because it is whole foods but stop and shop 10 times cheaper so back to the pepper situation I was paying 99 cents for a tiny little jar and now I pay $5, it's $4.99 for 10 large peppers. So even though I'm spending more, but I'm technically spending less because the jar was so small with those peppers from the dollar store and also the preservatives that it had in the jar. Like I think it had like dye in it as well. Needless to say, I'm saving a lot more money with just buying things like that like buying them at the grocery store so if you do shop at D dollar tree again i'm not hating on you i used to do it all the time there are some things at the dollar store that are worth it but when it comes to their food items i'm very very questionable with the ingredients and also the price if you don't care about the ingredients that's okay just look at how much you're spending in the long run when it comes to the size of the item like check the ounces of that food item you have in your hand and then use your phone and see if that is cheaper at the grocery store especially now that the dollar store isn't the dollar store anymore you might get a better deal at the actual grocery store number four is a variety of makeup i have been through this route for years and i went with a re recommendation from online so what I mean by variety of makeup is having 10 lipsticks, all different shades for different seasons, having four different foundations for different seasons, different bronzers for different seasons. I'm sure you guys are catching my drift here. That's what I would do. I would have like regular foundation for like my skin tone right now. And back in like 2010 and 2011, I used to love tanning. I looked like an Oompa Loompa. It was insane. I also used to wear a lot, a lot of makeup. It was the summertime, so I was like, all right, let me use the darker foundation. Anyways, my room was filled with variety of makeup, um, different mascaras as well. I don't know if people do this, but back in the day, I used to have one mascara for my like upper lashes and then for my lower lashes i would have a different mascara yeah just thinking of all of that makes me like oh, i just want to like go back in time and tell my younger self that you are beautiful the way you are you don't need all of this makeup you don't need a variety of makeup to fit in and that's what i was trying to do was trying to fit in with others and 
trying to go by the recommendations like with the makeup gurus on YouTube back in like 2010 where they would say like this foundation is for fall and winter and then when we move on to spring and summer ladies you want to use this foundation I fell for all of it and I looked ridiculous nowadays um, even though I have a lot of um, gray hair, but nowadays I get compliments from family members, never really out there, saying like, you aged backwards. Like you look so much younger than what you looked when you were 19, 20 years old. And that's because I don't wear makeup anymore. I'm not telling you guys to not wear makeup, but I have found a new love for my bare face just loving myself for you know just for how I am I'm hoping I'm making sense like I'm so bad with words like this because I don't want to sound too sentimental for the online world I know the online world can be very toxic in the comments section so anyways a variety of makeup I just don't think it's worth your money if you like makeup when it comes to the winter months and if you're a little bit paler Stick with what you have until it's completely gone for the next season. When the next season comes, then purchase a shade that fits your skin tone more. If you're a little bit darker from being out in the sun, don't stock up on makeup. This stuff expires really, really fast. And I have dealt with itchy eyes from using expired mascara. I've dealt with a ton of acne due to the foundation I was using or rashes due to the foundation that I was using that were old like years old stick with the basics when it comes to makeup it's so much more worth it if you're into makeup not only is it worth it for your budget it's also worth it for the environment because you're not wasting a lot of makeup and products so there's less waste going to the environment and also you're saving space in your home you don't have to purchase like all these clear organizers for seven of your foundations ten lipsticks five mascaras like you don't need separate organizers you can just deal with one draw for your main makeup routine and the last thing i want to mention is kitchen sets this is something where i personally never purchase a kitchen set but i have seen family members do this and they give away half of the kitchen set because it's things they didn't need. They just wanted the plates and the cups, but the kitchen set came with pans and spoons and ladles, the full price for the entire kitchen set where they only used maybe four items out of it. So even though you may think that you're saving money with buying everything in one big box, especially for my people that are moving into your first apartment, don't do that. Stick with the basics, just like I said with makeup. When I moved into my first apartment, I did my research on what do I really need when it comes to my kitchen? All right, it's just me, no one's really gonna visit me, so I'm just gonna use two plates, one frying pan, one pan to boil things on, which we still have till this day. Try to stick with the intentions of it's just gonna be you for a while. Because once when you start stocking up your kitchen and buying those big kitchen sets thinking that everyone's gonna come over, you're gonna have like friends, family, and you're gonna be whining and dining, it's usually not like that when it comes to your first apartment. Half the time you're either working extra shifts to pay for the apartment, or you come home and you just make yourself a quick meal, or if you're super, super tired, you just warm up a microwave meal, which I have done that in the past. I personally have never seen someone purchase that big box kitchen set, whether it's from Walmart or Target. Purchase that kitchen set and use everything in it and not like give certain pieces out because they don't need it. I've never seen someone use the entire kitchen set. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's video. I'm curious to know um, what cheaper items that you guys don't think is worth your hard earned money. So put them down below. I love going through your comments. And again, thank you so much for being here.